In this video, I'm going to show you how to sell more products and boost your revenue by offering volume discounts to your customers. You can get this set up in about 10 minutes. We're using a free app and there is no coding required. Anyone can do this. Let's get started. Before we get into the video, if you like videos about winning products, drop shipping, Shopify themes, apps, and tutorials, do us a favor and hit that subscribe button and turn notifications on. Now let's get into the video. If you sell any type of product with different color variations or styles or types, or even products where they may want one for themselves and one for a friend, you should definitely set up volume discounts for your store and start taking advantage of the extra sales you could be having. The way it works is when a customer visits your product page, you'll have an offer displayed. It could be a percentage off or a dollar amount. When the customer meets the criteria for the volume discount, their discount is automatically applied at the checkout. Now let's set it up. From your Shopify dashboard, install the app Bundler Product Bundles. Once your app is installed, click Create Bundle, Volume Discount. Now there are a lot of great options and customizations you can do if you want. I'm going to keep it pretty simple in this tutorial, but the options are there if you need them. Also, anything with a green lock means it's a premium feature, which is a part of their paid plan. Not to worry though, you will be able to do everything I'm showing you here today on the free plan alone. The product I wanna create a volume discount for is this one here. As you can see, I have lots of different designs to choose from, so it's very likely that the person ordering these would like to have a few different ones. The discount that I'm going to offer for this one is buy three, get one free. For anyone thinking that offering these types of discounts will kill your profits, the original price of this product is around $3. I've marked it up to $9.99. So even with the offer of buy three, get one free, I'm still making around $20. And the price of the product that I'm giving away is only valued at $3. It's much more likely that a customer will purchase multiples if there's a discount. So it's better to sell three at $20 than just to make a single sale. All right, so for the name, I'm going to call this buy three, get one free. We are going to leave the title and description as is for now. Scroll down to the volume discount section, change the quantity to three, change the discount from percentage to your currency. And then for the discount, change it to the price of the product. For me, it's $9.99. Then scroll down and we are going to select apply only to specific products. You could choose apply this discount to all products in the shop if that's what you wanted. Click select products, then use the search bar to find the product you want to offer the discount for. It will automatically select all the variants available for the product, but if you don't want to make a certain variant part of the offer, you can unselect it. This is optional, but I'm going to select automatically add new product variants. This way, if I add any more variants in the future, I don't have to come back and manually add them to the volume discount offer. The last thing you need to do for now is scroll down and click save bundle. We will need to make some tweaks later, but for now we're going to add this to our theme so that you can see how it looks and make your adjustments from there. Click online store, click customize on your theme, and then from the drop down, select products, default product. This is going to allow us to add the volume discount to all of our product pages. If there's no discount available for the product, nothing will show. All right, so under product information, click add block, and then under apps, select the volume discount element. After that, drag it up to wherever you want it to appear on your product page. Unfortunately, we don't get a visual here of what it looks like, and that is because I haven't set a discount for this particular product, but you will see it in a moment. The last thing I want you to do is click Theme Settings, select App Embeds, and then make sure the switch is turned on for this app. All right, save your work, and then let's take a look at our product. So here's what it looks like by default. You are likely going to want to make changes to your text, so that is what we're going to do next. How you edit this is completely up to you, but here are the main areas you want to look at. If you don't want a title or description and just want to leave this part, you can erase the text and leave it blank. The other text you might want to change is down here in these two places. They have code in these brackets. You can choose to change the text around it or erase it and change it completely. It's up to you. Here's what I've done for mine. I've erased my title and description, and here are my other settings. Before we finish off, there are a few things you should be aware of with this app. First, the discount isn't calculated until your customer reaches the checkout. That means when they view their cart, it won't show the discount. This may cause confusion and they may decide to take items out of their cart. The paid version of the app does allow the customer to see the discount at the cart level, so it can be fixed, you just need to pay their monthly fee. 
The other thing is that the discount is taken evenly out of every product. So for this example, we are advertising buy three, get one free. You would expect to see a $9.99 discount, but instead that discount is broken down and applied evenly to each product in the cart. There's also an important note when you are creating percentage discounts, so let's cover that really quickly. If you were doing a buy one, get one 50% off, you wouldn't put the discount percentage as 50 because the app applies that 50% off to both products, which means they would get a free product. Instead, what you want to do is enter 25, then when the app applies it to both products, your total is now 50%. So whatever you desire your total discount to be, you will have to divide it by the number of products and then enter that amount, not the total desired amount. Does that make sense? If not, just let me know in the comments what you're trying to achieve and I will do my best to help. If you like this video, do me a favor and give it a thumbs up or leave me a comment down below. And if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe. We post a lot of time sensitive content such as winning products on this channel. So make sure you have notifications turned on so that you can be one of the first to market when we post those videos.